So when you think of budget handguns, what comes to mind? Price, obviously. Reliability, it's gotta work, like 100%. There's a lot of budget ones out there that do not and are not worth your money. These bags are a little stiff, as most micros are. Accuracy, of course, goes along with that. Ease of use, gotta be able to train with it, gotta be able to use it, gotta be able to shoot it well. So let me introduce you to the Stoger STR9MC. quick commercial break for you guys. This isn't really a sponsorship or anything like that. This is just really a short story. About a year ago, I went to Palmetto State Armory, did a whole factory tour, did a series of videos on that. Went to the headquarters, met up with the guys at Right to Bear, protectwithbear.com, and this is a criminal and civil defense insurance company. I never really thought about it. We insure a lot of things in our lives, and obviously we train and have a lot of fun with different things at the range and tools you might have in your waistband. So what I thought about it was that it's probably a good thing to have insurance if you end up having to use that tool that you're training with so often. So check them out. You can use the code GEAR10 to save you 10% off your membership, which is good because you get a kickback. I get a little kickback from that as an affiliate with them. And I also have right there as the insurance of my choice as well. Currently for the last year, haven't had to use it yet, but it's nice to know that's safe of mine that if you call that number after something happens, that person in the line actually has your best interest in mind, which nowadays, you never know. All right, back to the range. So this is actually my first Stoger I've ever owned. I've shot a lot of them over the years and I ended up getting this one in to review. Now, this is the STR9MC. It's a micro nine millimeter, maxed at about 13 round capacity. Nine millimeter, of course, is, you know, nice and punchy as a micro nine, but this one seems to handle it well from the grip texture to the slight finger grooves here to that kind of semi-flat trigger right there. Also has optic cut, iron sights, night sight, and the front there, optic rail for your lights and lasers and whatever you do. They seem to hit all the marks that you want out of a micro nine, front serrations, pads for your other finger right there to rest on, for your thumb right there. It shoots well, it aims well. It's kind of just an interesting firearm for the fact that it, look up the price point, it's insane. Like it's going after the market of the Glock 43, not really the 43X, but more like the 43 going after the Shield. Those kind of firearms going after the SIG P365 and it's very thin. And I'll show you kind of some comparisons here in a little bit, but it's very interesting design, good price point. Comes with three mags. We have an 11 round right here. The accuracy, check that box right there. You have a 13 rounder right here. Right? Crazy. And then you have the super concealable 11 rounders. The other one was that 11 round with a pinky. This one, you can see, is gonna let you have that little dangly dangle there. Poor guy, he almost KO'd himself. That wind's crazy today. Now this is not the first time I've shot this. I have over 500 rounds through this thing and it's been a blast and I've had zero issues, which is kind of surprising seeing the price point. quick close up and comparison with several other firearms I brought to the range today. This is the full 13 round nine millimeter here. Everything's been checked and cleared. A little trigger action for you. The slide is a little bit stiff, 
But if you put an optic on there, it runs great. This is the uh, new Burris Fast Fire C. A little trigger action for you. Definitely a little heavy. But a clean break kind of and eh, you know, kind of a clean reset. Yeah. Definitely a nice push though to get to that wall. But you can learn to shoot pretty well with this. Now looking at another clear firearm the PSA Dagger Micro. It's kind of similar to that. Which I shoot very well. And of course you have SIG P365X Macro, totally different trigger. But over double the price. And over here, just for fun I brought out the old 84F Beretta, double action, single action. But that's just to show you the fact that this is a 380 with a 13 round capacity and this is the new nine millimeter. Technology's come a long way, especially when you look at something like thickness. Now this is more comparable to like a shield, which I ended up, didn't bring out here today, but this will do well because it's very comparable to this PSA Dagger Micro. This has the comp added to it, so really the barrel stops right here. It's about the exact same dimension. So again, that Glock 43, you know, almost 43X. And this is the PSA Micro with that 15 round mag there, right here. This of course caps out at 13, and when you do the 13, you are looking at almost the exact same size handgun. You can see there, finger grooves versus not finger grooves. X Macro again, kind of modeled after each other, right? They're all aiming for the same group here with the PSA Dagger Micro with that comp X Macro. Almost the same size. Now I will say, X Macro is pretty sweet because it does have factory 17 round mags, which is why people love this one so much. And then for fun, this is actually with a 12 round extension, the new LCP Max, the Ruger, I think like 75th anniversary edition. So this is 380. This is about the peak technology 380 is at right now. You can kind of see 12 rounds of 380 packed in such a small package. Like this is what I carry quite a bit in the summer when you don't want anything baggier, but really something like this is a perfect carry option. And you can see the sights there. Has a little, kind of a white dot on this. These little white markers on top there. You have that, but then you have the line on the back of the Burris, and then you have the front night sight there. But it lines up nicely, really. Feels pretty good. All the right feels, right? Texturing where you want it. Texture on the front here, on the trigger guard. You have that notch cut out, so you can put on a small stream light. Takedown. Now, YouTube, if you're watching this, this is for maintenance and cleaning demonstration only. Takedown is pretty easy. Check to make sure it's empty. Check again. You want to pull that trigger. Then you want to pull this back just a hair. And then you have these two tabs, one on each side. You want to pull those straight down all the way and then pull your slide straight off the frame. You have your cap of spring right there and your barrel. I mean, it's pretty much the same as most firearms. Really, really nice machining if you look at it. Like the build quality is superb for the price point, which is why I was really shocked to see how well it shoots, how accurate it is, how reliable it is. Like it's, it's a good, it's a good option. Interesting captive spring design there. You see that little shell on the inside that's cut out? Put it back together. I won't make a fool of myself here. You can kind of see this shiny 
cut out there, that is what goes on the end. Fills in that hole there, push this, get some spring tension in there. Make sure it actually seats all the way into that notch. Push it down. I do want to get this clean at some point here pretty soon. Like I said, over 500 rounds, you can kind of see what to do for some clean and lubrication. Function test. Good to go. Mags on this thing are interesting. So this would be one con. The mag itself is great. It, it runs, you know, you have your 13 rounds, you have a little finger, extra groove on the bottom there. You have your 11 rounder right here where the pinky extension keeps that nice grip on there. Then you have a concealed carry 11 rounder where you're kind of dangling, but you don't have any kind of extra little space here sticking out under your shirt. Now the problem with the mags really are the last couple of rounds you can kind of do with a loader like this one right here. This one right here is from Uplula. You can go and get them on Amazon. I'll drop a link down below. And these you can actually go and push and load, push and load. And it really, really helps out because a lot of the micros just seem really stiff when you're trying to get to those last few rounds. And it's real important that you can actually get those in there. And this is really the best way to go instead of just shredding your fingers. One other con while we're at it, Take a look right here, it's a good example. Do you see this black mark right there? Interestingly enough, look, that wipes away. So it's not the optic, but look. I saw my buddies at the gathering down uh, from uh, PSA there. Look at this, it's a giant hole to see if there's a round in the chamber, right? That giant hole has a ramp, spits right into here. Now if you don't have an optic, it's fine, but I have already noticed and we'll shoot another mag here, I'll show you. I'll clean this off, I'll shoot another mag, and you'll see that it's gonna just shoot all that backsplash straight back into there, which is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that where it's shooting directly with that little ramp into the optics. So that's something I think they could fix, but it's very minor, and honestly, for concealed carry, a lot of folks don't even use an optic, so if you wanted to use the optic, that's something to make note of. Let's go shoot some more. I think I was riding the slide. Stop a little bit there. Got him. Look, it's already fogging up a little bit. I don't know, that was interesting. quick accuracy test. Let's start with the X macro, the SIG P365 X macro. Five rounds, about five yards. Let's go for the uh, top left shoulder. Work our way around. This dot is off. By a couple inches, but it's all right. Pretty good. PSA Dagger Micro with the Swamp Fox Sentinel 2 on top. Five rounds, five yards, right shoulder. Well, his left shoulder. You know what I mean. I shoot this phenomenally well, so it shouldn't be too bad. Just for fun. Ruger LCP Max, five rounds, 380, with the little pinky extension to help out. Five yards. <laughs> Should aim a little higher. Stoger STR 9 MC, five rounds, five yards, center mass. Burst, fast fire C, red dot. Check him out. Let's see how we did. Now uh, this paint must be wet here. Look, you can see like the new rounds that flaked off quite a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's still wet. So this is the Stoger is over here somewhere. 
Yeah, about right, probably right there actually. Like you can see the red one, two, three, four, five. It's right there. This was the dagger micro. Told you, probably some good grouping right there. X macro. And then surprisingly, look at that one, two, three. And it's probably like, oh, she's bleeding. Yeah, LCP max. Not too bad, not too bad. Holster compatibility is gonna be a slight concern with these. They're out there, but it's not as prevalent as other more well-known manufacturers. But Stoker, I mean, it's in the big box stores, so it's starting to get more relevant there. Hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Stoker STR9MC. Really cool. Micro 9, so if you're in the market for one, price point, the features, reliability, all that jazz, I think they really hit it out of the park with this Stoker here. If you have any questions about this particular handgun, hit them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it really helps me out. Make sure you hit that like button below. And as always, make sure you take care of your friends and family and those you love, and we'll See you in the next review.